<laughs> and hi, we're, everybody. Hey, hi, we're live. Hello, hello. Welcome to the September So Powerful Live. Uh, it takes a couple minutes for people to load in here and find the stream wherever they're watching from. But hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? you ready to <laughs> rock and roll today? Hey. hey, everybody. Ooh, they're popping in. Give us a like, love, comment, share when you join the, uh, the, the feed here and tell us where you're watching from. Uh, and uh, give a little shout out to your fellow participants. We're gonna have a great session today. We've got a ton of purses to acknowledge and that's super fun. And we've got some special updates. We even have, just so you know, a uh, state <laughs> abbreviation code. Cheat sheet, thanks Kathleen. So nice of you <laughs> to gift us with that, knowledge and it's uh laminated <laughs> yes this is this is perfect yeah it's so great <laughs> thank you so this will be a fun conversation today we're going to thank and acknowledge all the purse makers who have recently sent in purses in support of the so powerful purse program and we're also going to give some special updates along the way um as always we have uh wonderful helpers in the house uh, Dana and Jillian, and on the purse cam, we have Grace Buck. Give us a little, oh, there it was, little, little <laughs> dazzle us with the hands there, the purse cam. And so we're going to show you some absolutely wonderful examples of purses that people have recently sent in. So anything so. I'm forgetting before we jump in here? All right. Well, let's do it. Let's start to um, thank people who have sent in purses and uh, and then we'll go from there. And oh, people are popping in here. We should have said hello to everybody first. Oh, someone said hello. Kathleen says you're welcome. Grace, Hi. Dana and Jillian. Um, yeah. Who else? Hello from Pennsylvania. Vivian Maybe. Sylvester is in the house. Uh, hi from Puyallup, Washington. I had to pronounce that so other participants in the live stream chat would know how to say it because some <laughs> people don't know how to say Puyallup unless you're indoctrinated into the greater Seattle area culture here. Um, let us know where you're watching from. If you're watching beyond that, we've got hello from Georgia and Houston, Texas and from YouTube land. <laughs> um, terrific. Well, Thanks everybody for hanging out with us. It's not too early or too late to just forward this to your friends. If you're watching on Facebook, um, on the Facebook page, you can forward it. You can't forward it out of the Facebook group. So depending on where you're watching, you might be able to do that. But you could always text your friends and send them a link or something like that and say, hey, join us on the So Powerful Live. We will probably be going for a half hour to 45 minutes today. Um, yeah. Hopefully. We have a lot of purses. We do. All <laughs> right. Let's jump into it, friends. So, Grace, fire up the engines on the purse cam, and uh, we'll start thanking and acknowledging purses. I'm really excited about this huge box on the floor because it is uh, so exciting from Ooh. Sue um, Banman Salisi and the ah, team in Brazil. Yay. The Brazil yay, purses are in the house. That is so exciting. And so thank you so much, um, Sue and the entire team in Brazil for working hard to get purses here ahead of the year in schedule. Um, it's just an honor to be able to coordinate. And it's just always amazing to have a global program where people are making purses from around the world. So thank you so much, uh, Team Brazil. Way to go. Uh-oh, oh, this is our first breakout for the purse cam. On the purse cam. That is woven Very together straps together on the front flap with the, 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 stitching and yeah, and they're woven Aww. down and then sewed down. Hidden embellishments. Wow, oh, the strap too. Very so, cute. So great. So so that is a perfect scrap buster purse. Very All right. Nice. Okay. Oh, we let's keep going. Let's keep let's keep it going. We All go. right. Yeah. So from Anna Nance in Cummings, Georgia. Thank you so much, Anna, for your purses. 23 with note cards. And Andrea Bonifaz from Mount Prospect, Illinois. Thank you so much for the purses. And 35 purses from uh, Elaine Kegel in Hagerstown, Maryland. Thank you so much, Elaine. And here we have 20 purses for our girls from Betty Dickens in Carrolltown, Texas. Thank you so much, Betty. 
and Trish Stevens from Hugo, Minnesota. <laughs> Looking at my cheat sheet. Yes, of course. I already knew that, right? Thank you so much, Trish. And we have a box from the Fridley family in Zion, Illinois. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. This one is really, really cool. 459 note cards. That is really, really great. Um, from none other than our dear Peggy Creighton. Peggy, thank you so much. A box full of note cards. Uh, here we go from Wanda Guard in Maryville, Missouri. 23 purses. Thank you so much, Wanda. And from Portland, Oregon, Christine Chapman. Thank you so much. 10 purses. I believe it's three boxes. Oh, yeah, three from her. 30 purses in three boxes. <laughs> Thank you so much. And here we have a box that was heavily taped up. It's packed full from Area Cacao in Melbourne, Florida. 30 purses. Thank you so much. And from Amanda uh, Pindred in Tawas City, Michigan. Thank you so much, Amanda. 24 purses. And here we have a box from Rita Gladkowski in Lake Wales, Florida. Thank you so much, Rita. And from Margaret Mullen in Renton, Washington, right here in the city of Renton where we're hanging out. Oh, you could always drop these off. Dana wanted us to remind you. So thank you so much, Margaret, for your purses. One more? Yeah, sure. And here we have one from Trudy Grob in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Trudy. <laughs> All right. Cool. Let's zoom in on the purse cam for a second and look at the oh, lovely so bumblebees. Cute. Looks great. Beautiful note card. Those laminated note cards are always so cute. Looks terrific. What else you got, Grace? Wow, look at that. That Very is terrific. Cute. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, uh, and there's a very nice little note card with the bunting. I think our purse cam keeps freezing. Oh, there we go. Very, oh, look at how pretty that one is. Butterflies on the flap, and it's such a cute little card. Aw, very sweet. All right, let's keep it going. And from uh, someone who will remain nameless from Winthrop, Washington, cute town. I've been there once. Uh, thank you so much for the purses. Um, I don't see a name, but you know who you are and you are amazing. And we're so grateful for the group in Winthrop who's rallying around the program. And here we've got a box from Monica Yoder in Bristol, Indiana. Thank you so much, Monica. This is such a blessing. And from Mrs. Slippick, maybe, in Abbotsford, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for 10 purses for the girls. And from Mrs. Finley in Austin, Texas. Uh, thank you so much beautiful box and uh, we're just so grateful really appreciate it uh, this one doesn't have a name on it but it looks like it's from Utah State University yeah, in know. Hurricane Utah so if this was a group effort or somebody at the university thank you so much this is awesome and from Laura Siampa in Sanford North Carolina uh, we have a wonderful box 26. Uh, purses, looks like. Thank you so much, Laura. And we have a few purses here from Kathleen Broadfoot, along with the amazing <laughs> cheat sheets. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathleen. And from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, um, from Jay Woods. Thank you so much, uh, Lake Havasu City. Home of the London Bridge. Home of, huh? The London Bridge is in Lake Havasu. That can't be right. It's not in London? <laughs> Throw it out there. And see is that the home of the London Bridge, Lake Havasu City, Arizona? Arizona. The London Bridge. 
Okay, never challenge Dana oh, at Trivial Pursuit Stories. My childhood rhymes are changed my whole childhood. Okay. Um, Barbara Primo in Savannah, Georgia, 15 purses and no cards. Thank you so much, Barbara. And from Oceanside, California, Grace Vineyard. Thank you so much for your purses. Oceanside, California, sounds pretty good. All right, let's zoom in on the purse cam for a moment. Whoa, look at that. That is fantastic. Okay, Facebook commenters said yes, it is the home of the London Bridge. There you go, beautiful. Love that. Oh, wow, look at that, beautiful note card. Love the pretty note cards. All right, friends, I'm gonna take a commercial break and uh, just share for a moment so we can pause the purse cam and wanna share the scripture passage for today. Every month when we do these, we try to share a little uh, a word of encouragement. And this passage is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Um, it says, for it is for this we labor and strive um, because we have set our hope on the living God, who's the savior of all mankind. And, um, you know, this time of year, I'll just be honest, every fall, we always say to ourselves, are we going to hit our purse goal for the full year? We have no idea. Um, you know, is our program going to continue to grow and flourish? Uh, we have no idea. Um, are we going to have the funds financially to to continue to you know support the program, you know, and and grow it? We have no idea. <laughs> but here's what we have. We have our trust and hope set on God. And we're believing in him for the future of the program. We're believing in him that the act of you making a purse and participating in the program through prayer and financial support and purse making is going to be a blessing in your life. And that your friendships and collaboration that you, you, know, you, you make along the way is going to be a blessing in your life. And that the purses that you uh, create and are given to girls are going to be a huge blessing in their life. And that the school administrators and the teachers involved on the ground in Zambia, the, the other uh, charity partners we work with, that they're going to receive a tremendous blessing to the program. All of that is dependent on not just work and not just activity. All of it's really dependent on uh, the Lord being in it, going before it, following after, being on our left-hand side and our right-hand side. Our hope is set on him. And um, we're a Christian organization. And um, uh, that's a core to who we are and what we believe is that God is leading the way. He called us to this work. And we honestly believe with uh, all sincerity, he's called each of you that are participating to this work. And we really pray sincerely that he continues to reaffirm and clarify that calling in your life, that the ability to connect with uh, teams on the ground in Zambia and with girls who need help um, is central to your personal calling. I wrote a blog, or sorry, an email uh, two weeks ago, and it was titled about your call to serve in Africa. And it's gotten more like responses um, it, than any newsletter I've written in a long time. And um, basically what I said is um, the program is here. The girls are waiting. The community is uh, rallied together. If you're called to serve, now is the time. You do not have to travel mm -hmm. to Zambia to participate in this ministry. We've set our hope on people believing that, hearing God's clear call in their life and joining us without doing trips. Cause you know, for the last two years, we haven't been able to, to do any trips. So our hope is set on the Lord. And we, uh, we pray that you'd uh, continue to hear his voice and his leading in your participation in terms of purse making prayer for the program and financial support. What are your thoughts on that? Anything stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's amazing to me, like from the very beginning, you know, we saw the need and were there and the girls, you know, hearing about the girls missing school and just wanting to address this need and how rich the whole program has become, like more than what we even were trying to do, like that God has come in and called, you know, all of you to come and 
sew purses and join us and and then just spread the word like it has spread so much beyond anything we've ever talked about and i think yeah. it's one of the funnest things <laughs> to as fun as the word uh you know when you interact with people and they come up to you and you're like how'd you hear about so powerful and it has nothing to do with what we did mm -hmm. you know and you're like wow this is cool you know mm -hmm. this really has a life of its own and is such a blessing i think you know to people like you that are able to do this and it does fill a calling without having to leave your home mm -hmm. and travel. And I think that's such a, a limitation on the idea of missions in general that, you know, if you want to serve overseas or make an impact overseas, you have to go in person and, and do those types of trips. And, you know, this is just, it's been neat to see the whole program come together this mm -hmm. way and, and be a blessing on both sides mm -hmm. and just see how much of a blessing it is to every single person maker mm -hmm. and, yeah. It's a blessing to us and it's a blessing to the team there in Zambia. Yeah. I think part of the thing that is exciting for us is that a lot of times if you feel a burden for a country like Zambia or going to serve in Africa, you you can, and we've done this before in our own lives where you've said, well, I can't do it until. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I want to do that, but I can't until something happens. And usually those some things are out of your control. And so the reality is for our current you know, situation in this current program, it is within our control to make a difference. The team in, in Zambia woke up today working hard on their side. Um, and we have the ability to support them with purse making, prayer, and financial giving. And those elements, we can do those today. And so I guess um, all that to say, our hope is set on him and his uh, still small voice tapping people on the shoulder and saying, now's the time you have what you need, you have enough, you're enough, you're sufficiently called, prepared, ready to step into the calling uh, to serve. And uh, and we just encourage you, if you're new to So Powerful, believe that, know that we are sincere when we are asking people to volunteer and to step in the ministry with us. We're all volunteers. Like there's no one here who's, you know, kind of the, the, the paid staff or anything like that. We're all volunteers working hard together to serve and to come alongside the program team on the ground. And uh, that's our passion. And we'd love to have you join us to uh, see the program grow and flourish. So hopefully that's an encouragement to somebody's heart today. And um, we'll go from there. Should we continue? Awesome. Let's jump back in. You Okay, so the team, the team is relaxed here. My sermon went on too long. But, um, are you ready? Purse cam. Uh, oh, they were ready for an altar call. No altar call. Um, okay, let's keep going on the purse cam and on thanking and acknowledging people. Wow, look at that one. The stripes. Wow, love that. Very, very cool. Wow, love it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, we've got uh, some purses from Betty Fort in Dripping Springs, Texas. Thank you so much, Betty. And from Linda Fought in Mesa, Arizona. Thank you so much, Linda. Uh, okay, I'm trying to read this. Oh, Elegant, that's what it is. Yeah. Elegant Doll Fashions in Dawsonville, Georgia. Thank you so much. Uh, this is amazing. And maybe a crossover from our mention on Pixie Fair um, a few weeks ago, I would guess. But um, if not, anyway, it's still awesome. Thank you so much. And from uh, Sandra Roberts, Good Hope, Georgia, 26 purses. These long boxes, what do they call these? Like media boxes or something like that? I think it's a game box. Game box. These game boxes are quite the box. 26 purses now. We should probably have a contest to see how many. I think 30. Is 30 the most that you've ever seen in a game box? There's one back there that's pretty fast. More than 30? We need to, we need to have a can world's I, record. Can you throw a favor out there for me, though? What? Sure. If they would write what end of the box the packing slip is in, that would be so helpful. Oh, what? invariably, <laughs> I opened the wrong end. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dana's need for packing slips continues to, like, it's like, he, he would like you to point out which end of the box your packing slip is in somehow. Now, if you can't do that, don't worry about it. But maybe just packing slip X. Um, and then uh, for those of you who actually mark on your box how many purses are included, it's super helpful as well. For those of you who include a packing slip, it's super helpful. And for those of you who go online, 
fill out the packing slip and submit it digitally by hitting submit, that is like super helpful, right? Yes. Okay. And by the way, Granny Hill does write, which is not her box. That's not her box. Oh, I was going to say Granny I'm Hill. Say okay. Granny Hill, Anita oh, Hill. Oh. She always writes when in her package. Oh, okay. So there are precedents yes, for this. Okay. So this is open this end. Uh, here we have some from Laura Serafini in Los Angeles, California. Thank you so much, Laura. And from Paula Krober, Korber, sorry, in Kingwood, Texas. Thank 26. you so much, Paula. 26, 26 packed so in. Powerful. Yeah. Uh, Julie Vasquez in Santa Maria, California. Thank you so much, Julie. And from uh, Chestnut Mountain Presbytery, Flowery Branch, Georgia. Oh, this is, Pe is this? This is, this is Peggy. Peggy. Yes, Peggy, it's from Peggy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Peggy. One of these days, we're going to go to Flowery Branch. <laughs> Just too cold. OK, uh, Sharon Grant from Conway, Arkansas. Thank you so much, Sharon. And from Belton, Texas, from the Just For You Bags team, uh, thank you so much, um, the Just For You Bags team. Thank you. Really appreciate that. And we've got 10 purses from Karen Keene in Huntington, New York. Thank you so much, Karen. And from Lynn Davis, Putnam, Connecticut. Um, thank you so much for your purses and a cute little sticker with some flowers on the box as well. That's Puerto Rico. That's from Puerto Rico. Oh, this one. Here we've yeah. got a bag all the way from Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. This is from <laughs> Lillian's Creations, but we don't have a name. No, oh, no, name. no name, but Mystery this purse is amazing. Maker. The international purses, it's always so fun to see them come in from different countries. So this is so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Puerto Rico team. That is so cool. Okay, this one is from the Woo Pig Zoe's uh, chapter. In <laughs> you like that? Yes, it's just fun, isn't it? From Fayetteville, Arkansas, with 40 extra note cards and 30 purses with note cards. Thank you so much, Jan and the Woo Pig Soe's team. It's so great. Um, we do need t-shirts made in support of that chapter, by the way. The whole yeah, t-shirts, every chapter needs t-shirts, and that's going to be a fun project we do this fall, I'm sure. So. Uh, Nancy Kelly from Olympia, Washington. Thank you so much, Nancy. And 10 purses and five aprons from our friend Tori Elwell in San Jose, California. Thank you so much, Tori. She is actually the moderator of our YouTube uh, comments right now. So Tori, thank you so much for your amazing moderation. And Jan uh, Kinsella is moderating on Facebook. So if you're uh, chit-chatting on, on the uh, comments, you're uh, interacting with Tori and Jan. We're really grateful. And here we've got a box from Afer. Jacqueline Paul in Naples, Florida. Thank you so much. And this one popped open just when I was grabbing it. And it's just so cute and sparkly. <laughs> so fun to see. Thank you so much. Sorry, I didn't catch two boxes from Tori. Here's another one from Tori. Thank you so much. 26 purses and note cards. And here is one from Judy Job in Fargo, North Dakota. A nice bright blue and orange box. Maybe you recognize it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judy. And oh, I didn't. I haven't done these well. But so this is another one from Peggy. So so they were stacked up from Flowery Branch, Georgia. Thank you so much, Peggy. And we've got some from Jay Woods in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Thank you so much. Home of the London Bridge. Oh, home of the London Bridge, yes. Boy, that bridge is popular today. And from our friend Vivian and the Olive Branch uh, trade shop, thank you so much, Olive Branch, for your ongoing support. 28 purses and a packing slip. There you go. Thank you so much, Vivian. And we have 15 purses from Karen Bennett in Visalia, California. Thank you so much, Karen. And from Daryl Perry in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Thank you so much, Daryl, for 30 purses. 30 purses in a medium box. That's pretty good, huh? All right, here's a little sneak peek at the, oh, look at that cute card. Wow, cute. Oh, cute. 
cows. Love it. So cute. What else you got? Oh my. Uh, Wow. Oh, look, look at oh, it lines. Oh, on the whoa. Wow, How do you do that? Fancy. <laughs> Darn. Oh, so oh. cute. Along with the upcycled denim, which is very popular and always fun. Very oh, cute and a cute little charm. Charms. That's fun to see. That is terrific. So fun. It's so fun to see just how creative you guys are with the first you know, the basic purse pattern, and then you really just put your touch on it. It's amazing. All right. So in case you were wondering, this is mine. Crazy cute purses inside this box <laughs> um, from Jane Davis in Georgetown, Texas. Thank you so much, Jane. And from Mrs. Goodwin in Madison, Alabama. Thank you so much for a huge box of purses. And we have a box from Shirley Oots in Tomball, Texas. Thank you so much, Shirley, that you can continue to support the program um, as much as you are. Uh, we're continuing to pray for you uh, just through everything. But thank you so much for sending this in. Yeah, we love you, Shirley. Um, and 16 purses from uh, Terry Hadavoy, uh from Tukwila. So locally here, right down the road. Thank you so much, Terry. Mm, this box is a very heavy. 30, 30 purses in this little box. That's packed in there. This is from Margaret Brown in Nokomis, Florida. Wait, I just saw that said Renton. No, okay. <laughs> yes, Margaret Brown, Nokomis, Florida. Thank you so much, Margaret. This is such a blessing. And from Pleasant Hill, California, Mrs. Rep, thank you so much for your purses. Pleasant Hill, such a wonderful town. I love the East Bay. All right, I think this wins for the best decorated box received today. Oh my. Yes, if that was a contest, wow. very cute. Um, this is Lynn Johnson in Spokane, Washington. Thank you so much, Lynn. Every purse is such a blessing to every girl. And from New Hope, Alabama, Natalie Wellman, thank you so much. 27 purses and note cards. I don't have a first name on here, but Miss Barker in Jamestown, Rhode Island, thank you so much for sending in the purses. And we have a purse from uh, Washington, Vermont. Uh, Ella Tyler, thank you so much. And then we also have one that is, where, where am I missing the mailing address? Um, Kingsford, Michigan. Um, someone who made a wonderful purse from Kings, <laughs> Kingsford, Michigan. Here, thank you so much. Oh, okay, Cinnamon's peeking in the box to see if we can find a name. And um, from Strongsville, Ohio, Susan, Kolozinski, thank you so much, uh, Susan, for your purses. Really, really grateful. No name. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> and from Anita Hill. That's Granny. Uh, pardon? That's Granny Hill. Oh, Granny Hill. Is Anita Hill? Granny Hill. It's Wait. appropriate for us to call her Granny she, Hill. That, she it, says Granny Hill. That's what she has written. She, you've written Granny Hill, Granny Hill. So thank you so much, Granny Hill. Does it We're, say, can I just slip this in? Uh, yes. See? See? Try packing slip this in. We Granny Hill's Granny got Hill. it dialed in. Right. 30 purses with cards. It's thank you so much. And here we have from the Hewitts in Taylor Lake Village, Texas. Uh, amazing. This box is so heavy. Thank you so much. And from Cleveland, South Carolina, uh, Santi Kutzer. Thank you so much, Santi. We're really, really grateful for your purses. All right, here we have a big box from Susan Combs in Katy, Texas. Thank you so much, Susan. All right, let's look at the purse cam, and then we're going to take another little break and tell you about some exciting things to come here. The purse cam is frozen, so I'm going to do my commercial break and while well, people fix the purse cam. So uh, let me give you a couple updates. Um, we have chapters flourishing. Uh, they're just popping up all over the place. And so we're really, really grateful uh, for the uh, leaders that are putting chapters together. Um, I think the team is going to share a link 
If you're watching live, you can click on the link and see the chapter information on the website. Chapters are an opportunity for you to coordinate a local group. And we've got you a resource uh, kit that you can uh, get. And then Jan Cancilla is ready, willing, and able to get you the information you need and help you pull it together. The chapters are just such an incredible blessing. Uh, we started them earlier this, this year and it has just gone so well. So thank you chapter leaders. And if you're interested in learning more about um, pulling together a small group where you could get together and do fun things, kind of you know create a group dynamic and you know, the group energy that you want in the way that you want, we'd love to have you learn more about it. So chapters. Um, second thing I wanna mention is service projects. Now we continue to get inquiries from people who are school administrators or leaders who have service projects that they want to do with, uh, with teens or young people. Uh, and the So Powerful Purse program is turning into a wonderful service project tool. And so we've got a special page on the website with some information and a little form you can fill out so that we know that you're working on a service project. We are so grateful for everyone who's thinking through how to put the So Powerful Purse program into their uh, service work with, with young people. And so um, if you're interested in that, you can go to the website and look under resources and you'll see uh, service projects. Um, and then finally, for my little commercial breakout, we're really excited about our year-end fundraising efforts. Our year-end fundraising is uh, a, a, a goal of really trying to ask people to do a couple things to support us financially. Every purse that we receive uh, takes about $5 to fill with the reusable hygiene pad product, the soap, and the underwear, and then of course paid for the material cost associated, but also the employment cost associated with making that a reality. So every one of these purses is really like a $5 commitment on our part on the program side. And so we would love to challenge our community to come alongside us and really consider prayerfully a year-end gift or becoming a monthly recurring donor. And there are other ways you can give as well. Those are on the website under the donate uh, menu item. One of the other items on that is a little more fun than just giving us cash, and that is buying a t-shirt. Who doesn't like a cute t-shirt, right? So the um, under the donate tab, there's a section that says merch, and that will take you to our t-shirt shop. We would love to have you buy a t-shirt. Um, the way it works is this company called Bonfire does all the work for us, and they just give us money uh, when people buy. And um, generally speaking, um, just buying a shirt at least fills a purse. Now, depending on the size and the color and all those details, it's a little bit different each time. But for sure, one t-shirt will fill a purse. Um, and so thumbs up for that. Know that when you buy a t-shirt, you're helping us fund the program. All the proceeds from that um, that we receive go straight to fund our program. You can buy shirts in support of Three Esters Farm or you can buy shirts in support of uh, the purse making program, but the logo and design is uh, farm or sewing related. All the money just goes to underwrite our program costs. So um, just know that if picking up a t-shirt helps us tremendously. It's also just as we come up to the holidays, you know, I was thinking if you want a t-shirt, tell somebody else you want a t-shirt when they ask you what you want, mm -hmm. you know, for Christmas or something like that, then they can, uh, do that for you. And it's sort of a double blessing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we hope to add more t-shirts to the t-shirt shop going forward. If people buy shirts, I mean, if it's, if, if people are going there and this week, people already have been, we revamped it earlier this week. And so um, we do think every chapter needs its own t-shirt. Yes. We could, um, we could feature them every time we wear a chapter. There you go. Oh yeah, we totally could. We can have <laughs> chapter t-shirts every time and just pick it, pick a t-shirt, uh, a chapter t-shirt and wear it. Um, we also um, are really excited about having new designs come out and we have three designs that are in the works. And so we'll have new designs that will come out in the next few weeks ish um, that you can pick up for a gift for someone around the holidays or for yourself, gift yourself, mm -hmm. uh, treat yourself. Um, and that helps us tremendously. So however you'd like to participate in the year in giving campaign, uh, simply write a check, a year in gift, or become a monthly recurring donor, um, or pick up a t-shirt or 
something similar like shopping through the Amazon Smile program and choosing So Powerful. Any of those methods help us reach our uh, financial goals in support of the program so that we continue to bless more and more team members in Zambia with good paying jobs mm -hmm. that create a, a really powerful local impact. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's my commercial break. Is the purse cam back up purse and going? Cam should be on. Oh, See great. All right. An adorable. Oh, um, my I goodness. I puppy, but I believe that's a kitty. Is that? No, is that a kitty? Is that <laughs> Hong Kong Fooey <laughs> cartoon character? I, love that. I, I pulled that one out. It's so cute. Uh, so cute. It's so uh -oh, great. Oh, it uh, seems to may, maybe someone knows the reference to what cat that is from the what whole box is full of those with different Oh wow. Oh, Cats. So fun. fun with machine so embroidery. Great. So great. Yes, if you love machine embroidery, there's so much opportunity on this pattern to uh, practice and really mm -hmm. experiment with all the different designs and then I don't know if we talked about it on this time but uh, we do have free designs that are coming out mm, monthly, mm -hmm. yeah. monthly. Yep. Um, and there's the quite a few already on there in the hoop flap designs that Peggy uh, has been working on. So those are really fun. And, you know, we just did a purse uh, boxing a couple days ago, and it was really fun to see those mm -hmm. actually coming in and people are using those designs. So amazing job, Peggy. Yeah. <laughs> and the purse sewers here are using them. It's really fun to see. Um, that all kind of come together. All right, we got a big one. Oh my Fresh Lord. flowers. This <laughs> is amazing. From Our Savior Lutheran Church Group. Thank you so much in Grand Forks, Minnesota. 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 Uh, everyone is quick to help me with that. Grand Forks. Thank you so much, so Our sorry. Savior Lutheran Church. If anyone is watching the live stream from that group, please extend our heartfelt thank you to the entire community there, the, the church group that's worked hard on these purses. It's a huge box and we're really, really grateful. All right, wanna do this one? Okay. Lift with your back, knees. Oh, oh, back. man, God bless you. All right, Colorado sisters, right? 100 right. young ladies may stay in school because of these purses from Colorado the Colorado sisters. sisters. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> and here we've got a box of 26 purses with note cards from Barbara Dewey's in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thank you so much, Barbara. This is amazing. And from Marcia Savoy in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Thank you so much. A huge box. I love it when sewing machine boxes are repurposed or in this case, Costco Popcorn. Yes, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> uh, and I saw her, I saw you, Sherry, on there commenting. This is from Sherry Colley in Buckley, which is very close to us here. Thank you so much for joining us on this project. And names we've already mentioned. These are just out of order in terms of the pile of purse boxes. But Peggy, thank you so much. 27 purses. Peggy is cranking this fall. Thank you so much, Peggy. She might be doing it as a group, but uh, let's see. Good. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that was probably a group effort. Here is 47 purses in this little box. This is actually getting pretty amazing, you guys. Uh, uh, where did I lose the name? From Emily Fulton in Nevada, Iowa. Thank you so much. This is awesome. And now we interrupt this program to present a chapter's very first box of Yay. purses. Yay! Yay! From uh, the Mildred McCurley and the Pursuit of Happiness group. <laughs> we have to have t-shirts going together. Pursuit. The Pursuit Yay, of Happiness group uh, in Virginia. Thank you so much. Way to go as a group for sending in your first uh, box of purses. And I hope that you're having an absolute blast getting to know each other and welcoming people in, the, in your community into the program and working together to support girls. So way to go. Really uh, just congratulate you for the hard work and effort that went into that. Awesome job, you guys. And that reminds me of the podcast because I know there's an interview with Millie McCurley on there that I remember listening to. So mm -hmm. be sure to check out the podcast and you can hear a lot about everybody who's involved um, and as things are going and, and growing. And another box from Vivian Sylvester and the Olive Branch Ministries team. Thank you so much, 28 purses and packing slips. And we are down to just a couple boxes left. So we're gonna give Grace on the purse cam a little uh, fair warning, three boxes left. 
And uh, wow, look at that. Grace has so many beautiful examples of purses over uh, on the purse cam table. It just looks fantastic. Oh, I love that. Wow. The creativity is endless. Look at that. So great. Uh, embroidery. Wow. Love it. Love it. I love it. little patchwork style. It's very fun. Yeah. Wow. Very cute. Okay. I have one last announcement. Uh, yes. One last announcement before we uh, announce the last three boxes. And that is we have a special little what you might call contest type prize effort for October, November, December. And that is we're going to have uh, everyone who sends in a purse, their name will go in the hat and one lucky purse maker and purse sender inner is going to get um, a beautiful collection of gifts. Um, and we're calling it our prize baskets. And I'll just pull up a little photo here. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see the photo. So that's uh, one part of the prize. And then the second part of the prize is all of this stuff. So amazing, there's amazing. an amazing uh, collection of items that you get. Um, and all you have to do is make a purse and send it in in October and your name will go in the hat for winning a prize. And we're going to do the same thing in November and December. So if you really want to optimize your chances of winning, you could send in some purses in October, Every month. send in some more in November and send in some more in December. And that way you're optimized for the opportunity to uh, win a special gift basket. Did you say um, what's in there? or I didn't say what's in oh. there. And so what is in there is, um, Sinemi, you want to read through the yeah, list I mean, here? I, from the picture here, is that showing? No. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah, so we have two, uh, we have two printed patterns, both uh, the beginner and the intermediate, a pre-cut kit to sew the intermediate pattern, uh, the brand new or the second edition So Powerful book. Is that what that mm -hmm. is? Yeah. Um, handouts. So the printed handouts that we have at the shows that you can give to, to friends to talk about the program, a 10 pack of straps of the webbing style, 52 inches ready to sew into a purse. That's a huge, Ooh, that's good. Huge bonus. Yeah. Um, one fat quarter bundle, which is enough to make one purse with three fat quarters. And, um, I'm not sure if that should have the plan or we can print that out mm -hmm. uh, on the website that shows you how to use three fat quarters to make a purse. Uh, we also have a fat quarter of the African print wax fabric, which we brought back um, on one of our trips mm -hmm. there. So that's fun that you can use either on a purse or, you know, just as something you want to make. Uh, a wooden button embellishment, a so powerful embroidered wrist pin cushion. Oh, very awesome. Very handy. You've got one of those, right? Yes, that's I had cool. one with a nice little, does this have that slap band on it mm -hmm. or just the pin cushion? Mm, can't tell. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, wrist, yep, and sorry, what was the rest of the list there? Um, two so powerful embroidered face masks and a kit to make five folded note cards. Wow, so very fun! It's a ton of stuff to keep you busy doing what you love, so it's awesome. Yes, and if you're already making yep. purses, it's just a huge benefit or bonus. So, all you've got to do is send in a package in October, and your name will go in the hat. And uh, we're really, really grateful for uh. Uh, this coming together and for uh, the effort to uh, to make it happen in support of the community. So a uh, huge thanks to our team that's made that a reality. Okay, we have three boxes left and the purse camp. Wow, Grace blew through the purses quickly. All right, so now she's got some beautiful note cards. Okay, so let's finish off by giving a final shout out to three... Here is one all the way from Canada. This is Judith Wells in Berwick, Nova Scotia. Berwick? Yes, Nova Scotia. This is really heavy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judith. This is awesome. And from Cherry Hudavoy, I mentioned your name previously. Thank you so much for 18 purses from Tukwila, Washington. And our final box is from Canada. Also from Canada. Yep. Norma Dale in Duncan, British Columbia. Yeah. So awesome wow. to see these come international. Very cool. Norma, thank you so much. We're so grateful for everyone who has sent in purses. We have, oh, 
Sorry, one more. Sorry. I was just going to mention before we go to that, that we also have, just as another little update here, uh, another new mailing address available on the website. And it is for people in the European Union. So I, uh, I want to just mention that as well before we wrap up here. If you go to the So Powerful homepage um, and you, let me just do that real quick. You can go to the homepage and if I know how to operate my computer, um, pull up the homepage and then you can go to this little strip down here in the middle that says uh, uh, where to send your purses. And you have a list of countries there. And the latest one is the European Union. Uh, Tan Chi Chow, thank you so much for your willingness to collect uh, in the Netherlands from anywhere in the EU and then send in purses. So if you're not familiar with this page uh, and you live outside the United States, feel free to check it out. We're trying to uh, create purse coordinators in different countries for purse collecting and sending. So it makes it easier for everyone uh, that, who can send to a relatively local place. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and then we coordinate the shipping from there. So feel free to hit that page up uh, in the future. If you're wondering if there's additional um, uh, purse country collectors, and we'll include those in the newsletter as they come out as well. Well, we've got one final bag. And then we're going to wrap it up. And that bag is from the local seamstresses through Quality our sewing. wonderful friends at Quality Sewing and Back here in the greater Seattle area. Yes, thank you so much. They collect these purses. So if you are in the area um, of Washington <laughs> and you're by a Quality Sewing store, you can drop them off and they'll get them to us. So that's a huge, huge yeah. lesson. Huge thank you to the Quality Sewing and Back team for their willingness to collect and it's just such a blessing and people can just drop off there and save the mailing costs mm -hmm. and so it's just great so thank you so much uh you know quality sewing back uh, customers and people who are participating in that way as well well that's it for today friends 45 minutes in and we have thanked uh dozens and dozens and dozens of people we don't even know how many but we're really grateful for your collaboration and support of the program it's always an honor. It's always a huge blessing to be able to mispronounce your state names. Uh, but and we your names. do our best, <laughs> yes. and it's a joy. And we just pray and hope that these uh, lives really minister to you and help encourage you and uh, help you feel a little bit closer to the work on the ground in Zambia. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much. Uh, helper team, thank you, Dana and Jillian. Grace on the hands. Hands down cam, purse cam, thank you so much. Wonderful time today. And of course, Jan and Tori on the uh, moderator boards. Thank you so much. Okay, bye everybody. Bye everybody.